Hey guys, this is Creator. My real name's Corey. Uh, this will be my first video journal on the Trailer Days channel. I'm actually an RV transporter, and currently I'm up in Saskatchewan, the frigid north. It's February 18th, 2014, and I've been in sub-freezing temperatures all week long. Uh, the east has been getting slammed with uh, hardcore winter and snow back there. And uh, I left Arizona a week and a day ago and headed up uh, through Kansas City. I got a buddy in Kansas City at Super Duty Service, Green Valley, Missouri. Uh, actually, when I left the driveway, my AC clutch uh, seized up on me. Actually, my AC compressor seized up on me. I was leaving the driveway in Arizona to come out here and uh, run for a few weeks, make some money uh, for a side project I'm doing. <laughs> getting, the, getting the truck to leave and uh, my AC compressor screws up on me. But luckily I was heading through Kansas City anyways and my buddy uh, over there at Super Duty Service, uh, he can get parts real cheap and uh, replaced uh, my AC compressor while I was there. Uh, but, you know, pretty much from Kansas to Indiana, it was all snow, all below freezing, like, you know, it was getting down to 10, 11, 12 at night, and it wasn't even getting up to 30 degrees during the day, all the way to Indiana to pick up my load. That's what I look like. Eh, I haven't showered in four days. Uh, it's been a week and a day since I left Arizona, so my truck's kind of trashed already. This is the way I ride. I got my Coolitron electronic uh, 12 volt cooler there. I don't run a whole lot of like fancy shit in my truck. I do have my phone set up there with uh, all my truck electronic monitoring. I can monitor all my temperatures, uh, all my pressures and all that with my Android phone and Torque Pro. Uh, pretty good setup there. I usually keep the phone I'm shooting the video on right there. But as you can see, I got trash everywhere. Can you always tell how bad the wind is up here in the, the windswept plains? You know, I'm up here in Saskatchewan headed towards uh, Red Deer, Alberta, and there's nothing. There's no wind box anywhere for hundreds of miles. There's nothing that's gonna stop the wind. So you get up here and like a 10 mile per hour wind, well, it'll drop your gas mileage down to like, you know, eight, eight miles per gallon easily. Um, you can always tell how bad the wind is by where your boost is at. My boost is at almost, you know, 17, 18 right there. And I'm only going like 60 miles per hour. Um, if you, if you don't have any wind and you're not in the windswept plain, your boost will be down below 10 easily. So you get up here in the windswept plains and your gas mileage drops like a rock. And uh, <laughs> fuel is more expensive up here too. You always try to fuel up before you cross the border into Canada. I do ride with a 70 gallon tank back there. And I'm hauling a 19 foot Cherokee. It's an 18,000 it's a 19 foot Cherokee and it, uh, it weighs about 8,000 pounds. So it's fully loaded. It's got like an island kitchen and everything. I'll do a walkthrough of that uh, when I get to a good stopping place here. Uh, yeah, so I fixed my AC compressor in Kansas City, headed on to Indiana. They had just gotten slammed again with another nice winter storm. So there's snow everywhere, uh, one lane road for a while. Uh, parking lots were packed with chunky, chunky, uh, snow plow snow. You know, nice, uh, nice setup there. Pulled my unit out of a, you know, a yard filled with snow and headed on towards Canada. So I've had this load on for two days now. I've got, uh, another 500 miles to get to Red Deer. And then uh, I'll drop this load, head straight back, hopefully pick up like an LA run or uh, a Southwest run. Stop by my house and do some laundry and refresh a little bit. 
then uh, maybe back up here to Canada. The Canada loads pay uh, a good five cents, six cents more on average. So if you can if you can manage a Canada run, they do pay more to cover the extra fuel mileage and the extra hassle. So this run here is paying me a dollar forty-five a mile, and uh, the total runs paying like twenty-six hundred dollars for a three-day run or a six-day run there and back. So anyone thinking about doing transport work, I work for Horizon Transport. Uh, we're a pretty good company to start start with. Uh, they make the application process pretty simple. They kind of thrive on new drivers. And I actually get uh, a kickback. I get like, what is it? Like a, a half of a half of a penny for every mile you guys drive. So if you think about signing up, uh, drop my driver number and name, uh, 0806 Corey Colvin, and I'll get a kickback. If you don't drop anyone's name, no one gets it. So you might as well drop my name, right? So yeah, I'm up in the frigid north, uh, trying to make some money for a side project. I actually, I'm starting up a company with uh, my buddy in Texas. It's going to be called HHC Diesel, making specialty uh, diesel tools. We're working on, of all things, uh, this six liter truck here. I've had to fucking fix this thing so many times on the side of the road, it's, it's ridiculous. And I know all you Dodge guys are going to be like, yep. That's what you get when you're driving. In a half forward. mile, take the Trans Canada Highway slash Saskatchewan 1 1 West Ramp to Moose Jaw. Getting ready to get on uh, Canada 1, Highway 1 in Canada. Always turn on your tow haul mode when, you, when you're coming to a stop. When you kick on tow haul mode, it engages the engine brake. You know, I used to drive in tow haul mode every time I had a trailer on, but you get the hang of... Take the Trans-Canada Highway ramp, then merge onto Saskatchewan 1 West. You get the hang of the way your PCM is controlling your, your, uh, your braking and everything. And... Then you just start taking control of everything. Like up here on the highway in the windswept plains. Turn left. My, my cruise control won't In a quarter on. mile. Take the ramp on the left onto Saskatchewan 1 West. The cruise control, once, as soon as you set it and you let go of the, the gas pedal, it slows down about 4 miles per hour, then speeds back up to a little bit over the set point, and then drops back down to the set point. I don't know who's ever fucking retarded after. Take the ramp on the left onto Saskatchewan 1 West. Down. It could just drop down to the speed limit you set. And stay there, but continue no. for a half mile. No, it's got to drop down, you know, slow down a little bit, then speed back up. Fuck your shit all up, and then by the time it gets back up there, because your boost is so high and you're fucking facing a headwind, <laughs> there's no way it's gonna stay in overdrive. So it stays in, you know, fourth gear, stays there and fucking eats up more gas mileage. So I end up fucking holding my goddamn foot on the on the gas pedal the entire time I'm up here in Canada because they fucking destroyed all their trees up here. I don't know if there was never any trees to start with or they just plowed them all over to make farmland like we did down in America. I don't know how much driving any of, any of the rest of you done, but uh, we have pretty much destroyed the country. We have fucking destroyed almost every tree across the entire United States and filled it up with cornfields. If you take a look at uh, the entire crop industry of America, we use, we grow corn. We grow corn for feed and grain. What the fuck are we thinking? We got rid of all of our trees. We fucking plowed the whole shit over and paved it over with cornfields and concrete. We don't even grow corn to eat. We grow corn for feedstock. We get all of our good corn from like South America. We can't even grow corn right. I don't even know what the fuck we're doing. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's for another video. But now I'm on Canada One, headed west towards Red Deer. Stay tuned for the next video journal.